Bye. I'm about to eat some fish and some potatoes. Lucille's kitchen too. This is gonna be an awful meal. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, Naman, what are you doing? Your bait not so good. Pale, white hair, strange clothes. Simon told me about you. You're a Kujak strap. No, Simon looked for a man named Kujak strap. I called Naman. Oh, you chased Mog on the Condepeth mountain path. I'm Lucille. Mog, don't ever come out while you she's around. Koopa. Smell good. Oh my gosh, what are you doing? Don't eat anything! The heat too low. You can cook? It's my destiny to pursue way at the command. This must be a helper from above. Hey! What's, uh, what do you think, huh? Hmm. I know how many people live in this village. Is Simon's group, the Moogles, and me make eleven. Oh, whoops. You make food for nine people now. It's too little. It's not enough for me. <laughs> it's important to know how many people you cook for. I guess you're right. This heat only strong enough to make food for nine people. It was not possible to make enough for everyone. No! <laughs> it's a little excessive. I teach you a very important cooking lesson in cooking. Always make more than you need. Maybe more people show up. Maybe your guests very hungry. It's not enough food for me. I know I not cook if I not eat. Okay. We catch more fish. Koopa? Ooh, smells good. I hope we catch a lot of delicious fish. <laughs> that was an excessive no. No. <laughs> That's just silly. Okay, well I guess she's not done in the kitchen. Ugh, hurry up, woman. Oh my god. Take longer than Lucille and her people protect the Elon Wall for generations. We Moogles also help Lucille protect the wall. Don't mess it up. <laughs> Where are all the other people of her tribe? I can't tell you. Oh come on! I wanna know a secret. Fine, don't tell me the secret. I don't care. See if I care. You do. Hey, what's up? You think. Koopa! Koopa, Koopa! Can we go in? I want to go in. Whoa, this looks great. Koopa, 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 Koopa! Welcome, Simon. Have a seat. You made a lot. I cooked it all for you, Simon. <laughs> Let's eat. Oh, what a weirdo. How is it? The stew tastes good. The fish is just right. Hey, Lucille, where are all the other summoners? Are they hiding underground or something? Underground. Yeah. They're all underground, sleeping the eternal sleep. What? Come on, they're dead, you dummy. <laughs> the last survivor of my tribe. I've been living the, the, with Moogles ever since my grandpa died last year. I'm sorry. Oh, don't worry about me. I'm really happy here. Ten years ago, which is four years before I was born. Wait, that means... That means she's six! What? A natural disaster struck the village. Even the survivors suffered a great deal. But my mom and dad fell in love and had a family. Not that I remember what they looked like, because they died when I was very young. I see. I've been told that when I turn 16 and my body builds a resistance to summon magic, I can leave the village with any Eidolon I want. That's only a short time away. Just like the small difference between our ages, son. Awkward! <laughs> we already know how to use summon magic, Lucille. Well, a summoner can't choose her Eidolon until she's come of age. That's why I can't choose an Eidolon or leave the village un uh, until I turn 16. We just keep training until then. How do you train? How? Oh, it's our horn. We use our horns to communicate with Eidolons. How do you communicate with a horn, Amanda? Uh, I don't! <laughs> I'm like a beautiful young heroine in turmoil, don't you think? Uh... Huh? 
<laughs> That's what I said, man. You know why I'm here in this village? It was to meet you, Simon. My beautiful shooting star. Oh my god, what a creeper! It's a line from Lord Avon's play, Wishing Upon a Star. How'd you know? Darn it! How does Lucille know about that play? This place is far from the Mist Continent. Oh man, I'm about to sneeze. Okay, it, it went away. Thank you! No, it didn't go away. Thanks, Lucille. It didn't go away. It didn't go away. <laughs> Excuse me. That was really good. See, don't you want to eat my food every day? Maybe. Hey, there's some other stuff I want to ask you. Maybe? That's so rude of you. Uh, okay. Simon, help me clear the table. Bring the pot over to the kitchen. Uh, well then. Let's steal your stuff first. Lady. Person. Girl. Little girl. Phoenix Pinion! I have no idea what that is. There are so many old books here. I think the uh, this one is Lord Avon's Wishing Upon a Star. Can you believe this? This is a first edition! I've only ever seen one at the Castle Library. Why does she own books that are more than 500 years old? Ah, <sighs> you quite are the derp, aren't you? Uh, pot! Fine, I won't bring the pot. I'll just go in there without it. <laughs> you told me to do something and I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> so it wasn't just Amanda. Simon's really slow, too. What? Those two are going nowhere fast. Well, this is good news for me. Hello? A weirdo. Where's the pot? Sorry. <laughs> mm, she's bossing me around. Oh, oh god, okay, okay, take the pot, take the pot, take the pot. There we go. I have the pot now. There you go. She is an awkward girl. Awkward, awkward, awkward. I kind of felt like this was going to happen, though. Like, something like this was going to happen with Simon. Is there something on my face? <sighs> no, it's just, you look good. Thanks, Simon, could you leave it there? Hey, Lucille, do you know anything about the Aoife tree? What about the Aoife tree? We want to go there. It's sealed with a needle on. You can't get in. Seal? Did you seal it, Lucille? Well, so he's sharp about certain things. It all happened before I was born, but they sealed a needle on that we failed to summon in the Aoife tree. It's our custom to seal a failed needle on where we summon it. An needle on you failed to summon. But we use the power of another Edelon to seal it. Do you understand what that means? That means the sealed Edelon was so powerful that they needed another one to trap it inside. Sealed with the power of another Edelon, huh? I'm glad that I figured out how to pronounce Edelon, because that would have been really, really annoying, because they've been saying Edelon over and over and over and over again. Hey, what's up? This person keeps telling me to catch more fish, Koopo. Simon, I make great discovery! These fish different from the Miss Continent fish. How are they, huh? Well, catch another one. 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 Okay, that's enough. <laughs> hey, what's up, Lucille? Will you break the seal for us? What? No way! It's not like we're gonna do anything bad. Well, I'm sure we can handle it on our own. No way! Are you crazy? Hey. Y you won't do it? No. Is it... Please? No. Can I have something to eat? No. Can I have something to eat? No. Can I have something to eat? No. I don't think there are any books on summoning. Okay. That's a crying shame. Oh my goodness! You should get some sleep before you go. Yeah! Yeah, go ahead and sleep. Why the heck not? Ah, so peaceful. Oh, man, he stayed out here the whole time? Oliver. Go to bed. You better get some sleep before we leave tomorrow. I tried to stop worrying about things, but I just can't. I know you told me not to think too much, but... 
That's because we're different, Oliver. We're different. You don't have to do everything my way, you know. I don't want to stop. I don't want to feel like this anymore. But what if I keep feeling like this? Oliver, it's just puberty. <laughs> well, in the end, it boils down to two simple choices. Either you do or you don't. Well, I guess you're right. <laughs> You'd think with all the problems in this world, there'd be more answers. It's not fair. You say that quite a lot. I wonder what your basis for comparison is. But that's the way things are. The choice is yours. Simon. I just want to protect the people I'm with. Doesn't matter whether I can afford or whether I can or not. That's what I believe in. I knew it. I was right. Simon is the man for me. <laughs> Ooh. He's right. You either do or you don't. My choice is clear. I want to go with Simon. You want to know a trick to get your mind off things? Okay. This is an age-old ritual between male friends. Uh-huh. Come over here, Oliver. Let's go together. Doesn't it feel nice to get your, let yourself go under the start? What the heck are you guys doing? Uh... <laughs> role model. <laughs> it just keeps going. She's like, what? <laughs> it just keeps going. <laughs> it won't stop. Kai, you got enough to write your name in the sand. <laughs> so, <laughs> I didn't even know what to do with my life right now. Seriously, anyway. Okay, when I first saw the eat along wall, I was scared. <laughs> but when I went inside and saw the murals, they calmed me. I want to see more. Sure, we'll come back after we check out the Aoife tree. Thank you. We gotta come back and get Naaman anyway. We can't just leave him here. Are you coming back here for Lucille? Lucille's only six years old. She acts tough, but I think she's lonely. Oh man, she's up there spying on us. Do you see that? Oh man, she's a creep. I haven't seen her today. She's right there, man. You're right. Lucille! See? <laughs> oh, what a weirdo. You can't break the seal of leaf a tree without calling an Edelon. You're coming with us? Don't you want me to? Of course I want you to come along. That's what I thought! Okay, I'll join your team for a while. Oliver, man, let's have fun! The Aoife tree is beyond the path- uh, and beyond the clone to beat the a mountain path. Let's go! Why aren't- why are you so nice to everyone, Simon? <laughs> huh? What do you mean by that? Forget I asked. Oh, she's jealous of a six-year-old. What a dork. She's six. I think she was mad. You think so too? Man, Simon and Oliver are like bros. I love I love these guys. Please look after Lady Lucille. Come see if there's any trouble. Sure thing. Oliver, have you figured out a solution to your problem? <laughs> Not really. But I'm moving on. Good. Good. Cause the tinkle break didn't help, I guess. <laughs> Well, I think we might be going out to the world map now. Which means that I am going to save and call it a night. My god, I recorded a lot today. But it was worth it. It was worth it. Alright. Whew. I'm gonna record.
record tomorrow. <laughs> I'm in a recording funk. I'm not a funk. A recording funk would be like when I wasn't recording, but now I am. So, uh -huh. Alright, guys. It's been a blast. Have a wonderful day. And I'll see you guys next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy Final, <clears throat> Final Fantasy. 90 Blindy. Home of public urination. Bye!